Maggie. Come. Girl. Hi, baby. What a sweetheart. So we're about to do Maggie's nails. And notice the first step of that sequence is getting her to me. I hear a lot of people say, oh, as soon as my dog sees me grab the Dremel or the nail clippers, they run away. Um, so if she were to get up and run away, I would just simply use my tone recall, right? So we always have a way to get our dog to us that is non-negotiable. Second step is getting her to lay down. Down. Good girl. So we've got her to us and we've got her in a down position. The other thing I'm going to do is get her on her side so it exposes all of her paws. Good girl. So she's already offering me one hip. So the next step is just to get the shoulders on their side. Good girl. So I'm going to just gently give some pressure here until she goes all the way. Good girl. And we'll move that paw out from the bottom. So now we've got her completely on her side and all the paws are exposed. Because when she's laying in that sphinx position, you can't get to any of the nails. We've done this a couple times, so she knows the routine. She's nice and relaxed. She knows it doesn't hurt. Look my baby girl. And then we're just gonna get to town. The only rule is just stay compliant, right? Stay relaxed, stay compliant. If she starts to pull her paws away, if she starts to get too antsy, I'll stop everything and I'll address that with the e-collar, okay? Good girl. And I'm actually gonna do this on the front. girl. I'm going to grab the paw that we're doing and anchor it down to the ground. Got to get her curly tail out of the way. And we'll just do nail after nail. Good girl. I'll be praising her as she's doing so well. Allowing me to do this. Five minutes, no fuss, no stress. 